Good morning, children. Welcome to Wednesday's maths lesson. I hope you're all well. This is my last maths lesson for this week, so uh, Mr. O'Brien will be carrying on from tomorrow. Today we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions again, but on a number line. So I've decided that the best way to show you this would be on the computer, so it won't be me in front of the whiteboard again. Those days may return. So I'm just going to share my screen so you can see what I am doing. There we go. Now, hopefully, you are able to see my screen. So as I said, we're going to be looking at fractions on a number line today. So on the top number line here, you can see that the numbers go from 0 to 1. And underneath, it's got a one hole, just to show you what that looks like. And then underneath, it's got zero, one half, two halves. And as you can see, two halves, this part here, is the same as one whole, which is this part here. So two halves is the same as one whole. They are equivalent fractions. Now on this slide, I've got two different number lines again. On the top, it's going zero, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Four quarters would be one whole. As you can see, it's going up in quarters. And then underneath, I have a number line that's going up in eights. It's increasing in eights. One eight, two eights, three eights, four eights, five eights, six eights, seven eights, and eight eights. And eight eights is the same as one whole. Now, my question here is, what are the equivalent fractions of one quarter? So I'd like you to pause it just for a second and see if you can work out the answer. And hopefully you had a go there, children. One quarter. So I find it on the number line here. Now, if I draw a straight line down, I mean, I could just point with my finger, but I'm showing you with this line. One quarter is the same as two eighths and you can see that this one quarter here is the same as these two eighths here you just need to look down and you can clearly see that they are equivalent fractions so one quarter is the same as two eighths just to show you something last week from last week as well i'm going to keep showing you this because it is a lesson eventually we could have done times two, so the numerator, one times two is two, and then the denominator, which is the number underneath, four times two is eight. So we could have multiplied both of the numbers by two. Now, let's have a look again. So what are the equivalent fractions of two quarters? So this time I'm going to find two quarters, and then I'm going to cast my eye down to see how many eighths it's equivalent to. And as you can see, two quarters, one, two, is equivalent to four eighths. One, two, three, four. So two quarters is the same as four eighths, um, which is also the same as a half, which I've, I've written there already. So two quarters is the same as four Eighths. And again, just to show you, children, we could have multiplied by two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. And it could have been done here too. One times two is two. And two times two is four. Two multiplied by two is four. Okay. We could just keep doing that and finding equivalent fractions forever. Two times four is eight. Two times eight is 16. I'm going to keep sneaking that in wherever I can. Now, let's finally have a look at this one. So we've got sixths, and then we've got halves, and then we've got thirds. So notice it's just the sixth on the number line, but we have got the fraction wall or the fraction tiles underneath to help us. So one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths. 
So you need to have a look and see what pairs of equivalent fractions you can see using this picture. Just pause the video and see which ones you, how many you can find. Okay, children, hopefully you pause the video. So let's have a look. The first one I see is three sixths. And it's the same as one half. So three sixths is equivalent to one half. It doesn't matter which way around I write those. I can also see when I look further down then that two sixths is the same as one third. Two sixths is the same as one third um and also let's just get rid of those ones now one two three four six one two three four six is the same as two thirds there's the two thirds and there's the four six they are equivalent fractions let's do that in purple four six because i've got one two three four is the same as two thirds um i could do six six equals two halves or six six equals three thirds or three thirds equals two halves because they all make one whole could be that i put one whole is the same as three thirds because three parts makes up the whole shape and um, finally children i'd just like to show you these number lines i am conscious that this video is getting a little bit longer now so uh, another activity that's on your sheet is to fill in missing numbers on a number line so we have got some of the numbers already given. There's nine tenths there and two tenths. So I know that hopefully this is going up in tenths. Let's check zero, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. It does fit. So one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. It's just about checking and counting to make sure that the numbers are in the right place when you're counting and that could be 10 tenths of course i might not want to put 10 tenths there i might want to put one hole because it's the same have a look at another one and this example is i've been given three fractions to put onto the number line so i've got to decide where they go so i can clearly see that this time it's eight so let's just check one eight two eight three eight four eight five eight six eight seven eight seven eighths eight eighths just checking sure that it wasn't going up in twos so this would be one eight two eight three eight four eight five eight i'm not just going to put five because this is what has been happening children we need to remember to put the denominator as well because there are eight parts all together five eighths seven eighths is going to be five eight six eight seven eighths I could go back and start again at one eighth, but I know this is five eighths, so there's six eighths and seven eighths. And finally, one whole, which is equivalent to eight eighths. So the final number could be one or eight eighths. Okay, children, I wish you the best of luck with your work today. As always, if you're stuck, then you could send an email to the year group and the teacher will get back to you. Or you can comment on the blog and an adult will try and help you from there. Take care. Goodbye.